Good evening, dear Gavaliers, trainer, and guests. Welcome to our Gavel Club meeting. I'm Clarissa, your surgeon at arms for the meeting today. I would like to remind some of our houses to make sure the meeting runs smoothly. Check your camera and audio and network system before the meeting, not during the meeting. It is a must to turn on your video. If anybody turns off the camera for more than two minutes, that person will be expelled. When you deliver your speech, make sure to mute your family members and surroundings. Proper attire is a must. Make sure you are visible on screen at least until your shoulders. You are advised that any of your words or actions should not lead to personal attack, gender discrimination, religious politics, or sex. If you deliver your speech related to above-mentioned subject matter, craft your speech in a way which is suitable for the meeting environment. This meeting is also recorded. Give the speaker a thunderous applause once the speech is concluded. To begin with the meeting, let's put, put our hands together to, and welcome our President Shamal. I'm in Shakti. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, SAA, Gavilia, Clarissa. Good day to everyone. So the theme of today's meeting is exercise. Why do we need to exercise in our daily life? When we exercise, especially in the early morning around 5 a.m., we will be active throughout the day. We won't feel tired or lazy. Now, how many of you here exercise at least three days per week? Good. So, I believe that this meeting will make us make all of us exercise every day. So now I would like to pass this stage to our Toastmaster of the day, Gavili J. Vashi. Thank you. Teacher, I can't share screen. Good afternoon to the to trainer, parents, and fellow cavaliers. I'm Jay Varshnis, your Toastmaster of the day. I conduct this meeting with a group of affiliators, grammarian, accountant, timer, table topics evaluator, table topics master, and speech evaluators. I would like to thank them for being a role player. Let's invite all the role players one by one to introduce their role for today's meeting. Let's put our hands together and welcome our grammarian. Hello Toastmaster and fellow Toastmasters. As grammarian, it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all speakers, listening carefully to their language usage, or think of any improper language, as well as any outstanding words, quotes, sayings, or thoughts. As a grammarian, it is also my duty to reproduce the word of day. For today's meeting, the word is dynamic, which means positive in attitude and full of energy and new ideas. An example of using the word is, she's young and dynamic and will be a great addition to the team. If speaker is encouraged to use the word of day, I will give the grammarian's report when called upon during the meeting and also report on the usage of the word of day. Thank you and back to you, Manitos Master. Thank you, Grammarian. Let's invite our R counter to introduce the role. Is Google Nidhi is here? I don't think it's here. Okay then. Uh, now let, let's put our hands together and welcome our table topics master. Greetings, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests. The purpose of the top topic master is to facilitate table topics where guests and members will have the opportunity to practice their impromptu speaking. 
I'll introduce a topic and call on speakers who will be given two minutes to speak on the subject. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Thank you, Table Topics Master. Let's welcome the Table Topics Evaluator to introduce the role. Thank you, Table Topics. Uh, you know, thank you to the Toastmaster of the day. Um, the Table Topics Evaluator is to evaluate the speech, the Table Topics speech, based on how it is spoken. And I will evaluate according to the body, the opening, the sign language, and many others. Thank you. Thank you, Table Topics Evaluator. And finally, let's welcome our timer for this meeting. Greetings, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters. As timer, I will time the table topic speakers, formal speeches, and the evaluations. I will also alert each speaker of the time they have left using the green, yellow, and red cards, which deem their speech remarks to no more than two minutes. At one minute, I'll raise a green card and one. Toastmaster of the day, shall we move to the next person? I think our internet has issues. Um, okay, good. Thank you, Timer, and the role players who introduced their roles wonderfully. Well, now, I would like to talk about today's theme. Today's theme is exercise. Exercise is basically any physical activity that we perform on a repetitive basis for relaxing our body and taking away all the mental stress. It is important to do regular exercise. When you do this on a daily basis, you become fit both physically and mentally. Importance of exercise. Exercising is more essential for proper health and fitness. Moreover, it is essential for every sphere of life. Especially today's youth need to exercise more than ever. It is because the junk food they consume every day can hamper their quality of life. If you are not healthy, you cannot lead a happy life and won't be able to contribute to the expansion of society. Thus, one needs to exercise to beat all these problems, but it is not just about the youth, but also about every member of the society. Benefits of exercising. Exercise has a lot of benefits in today's world. First of all, it helps in maintaining your weight. Moreover, it also helps you reduce weight if you are overweight. It is because you burn calories when you exercise. Further, it helps in developing your muscles. Thus, the rate of your body will increase, which helps to burn calories. Moreover, it also helps in improving the oxygen level blood flow of the body. Since today's theme is exercise, can we do one exercise? For example, clapping. Clap about 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Thank you, everyone. So next, I'm glad to invite the table topics master to conduct the table topics session.
Thank you, Toastmaster. Um, now I would like to present. Can everyone see the screen? Yes. Thank you. So now first let's pick the speakers. For today's meeting, there will be only four speakers. For the first speaker will be Vanessa. The second speaker will be Mongadi. Someone is not here, right? So we just say both name. Our third speaker will be Tamil Alagi. And the final speaker is Fugal Nidhi. Okay, now let's uh, choose the topics for today's meeting. Vanessa, do you prefer mental exercise or physical exercise? Do you prefer mental exercise or physical exercise, Vanessa? I have 30 seconds, right? Sorry, can you repeat the question again? Do you prefer mental exercise or physical exercise? Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Vanessa. So, in my opinion, I prefer uh, physical exercises because I think it's more important for your body to be physically fit by like going out, go walking, running with your family. Um, because physical exercise, there's many types. You can not only by doing like, normal exercises, but it, it's also like uh, having fun with your friends, family it's also called physical exercise because you're physically uh, doing good things for your body so I prefer physical exercise okay. thank you Clarissa So for Magadhi, 10 push-up a day will push up our health. 10 push-up a day will push up our health, Magadhi. Can everyone hear me?
Okay. So for the third speaker, Tamil Alagi, can you live without exercise? Can you live without exercise, Tamil Alagi? Good evening to everyone. So the topic that I received is, can you live without exercise? My answer is yes, you can live without exercise. Because even the simplest movement we do is counted as exercise. For example, since we all, at, we all are at home, to our room, to the kitchen, it's already an exercise. Living room, to the refrigerator, opening it, already exercise. But I will do exercise just to prove all the mothers out there. If we are a little bit chubby, all the aunties will come to the house. Oh my God, this girl is so cute, so chubby. La. They start pinching our face. I feel like I am in a surgery room. Doctors doing plastic surgery on me. It's really irritating. So that's how I started doing exercise four days ago. I downloaded the app, fitness training, how to increase height, all that. And I'm doing exercise now. Every day, two to one hour, one to two hours. My father like, where did you get the will from? How? And at the same time, my father, can you share me that app? I also want to download it at the same time. So exercise is not important. But just to prove people wrong, we need to exercise. Especially all these aunties who come to our house for Deepavali or Christ Christmas and other celebrations. And I can proudly say that I lost 400 grams. So that's why we need exercise. Thank you. Thank you, Gavalier. Tamil Lalagi for a wonderful speech. Now, for Pugal Nidhi. Pugalnidhi, why do we need to exercise? Why do we need to exercise Pugalnidhi? Can I start? So everyone can hear me? Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. So the topic that I got is, why do we need to exercise? If we exercise, we can improve our muscle strength and boost our endurance. If we didn't exercise, sometimes we might fall into obesity. And sometimes, if we didn't um, exercise, we will eat some junk food. Yes, eat some junk foods such as McDonald's, burger, French fries. By eating those, we will first our blood pressure will be um, will increase, and our um, 
in the in the age of 30 or 40 will um, we will um, we will suffer heart disease or heart attack by exercising such as running slow jog or doing uh, any yoga like that our mind will be calm and we can help people lose weight and lower the risk of some diseases by this we need to exercise thank you thank you for the four wonderful speeches now i would like to pass the stage to gavin jay Gavaliers, these are the names of the table topic speakers. Please vote for the best speaker using the poll that is created by Ms. Vasanti. Teachers, have you one that? Next, I would like to call upon the table topics evaluator, computer gavelier communicator Javier to evaluate the table topic speeches. Thank you, Toastmaster. Um, I'm going to be evaluating the three table topic speeches, starting from Vanessa. Her opening was quite short and she got the points immediately and in the body, she listed a few points like having fun, uh, good for your fitness and health. And she ended quite shortly and just stated that that was why she liked exercise. She could have shown more of her head in the camera and also could have used some body language. For her second speech, Tami Lalagi, she had very good points gave a lot of examples, also was a bit humorous and acted like her relatives told how, and she also told how she could exercise more, like downloading an app. All in all, it was a very dynamic speech and had a very funny ending. For Pugal Nidi, uh, he could have shown some body language. His opening was short. His body, in his body, he talked about why we need exercise, talk about the harmful effects of junk food and not exercising, the positive sides of exercising. And his, his conclusion was quite short. So this is my evaluation. Thank you. Thank you, evaluator. Now let's move on to the second session of the meeting. It is time for us to listen to the prepared speeches. The first speaker is competent Gavalier communicator Chua Thompson.
He is 17. He is from SM JK Chuang Chung Hua Clan. His hobby is exercising. Let's put our hands together for Chua Thompson Malaysians. Malaysians Chua Thompson. Can you hear me? Okay. You know, I'm most afraid of bringing Malaysian tourists. A few years back, this was said by an Indonesian tour guide while we were crossing the road. I quickly asked him, why? Because you Malaysians always use the force. The force. See, when we cross the road, we wait for the pedestrian light and cross. You Malaysians don't do that. You straight away cross the road and use the force. Ladies and gentlemen, we as Malaysians really do have some weird, yet familiar things that only we will do. So today, let us see what are Malaysians like. First of all, Malaysians are people who know many different languages, but ends up with one. Rojak. Notice how many languages are being used in the next conversation, my friend. Hey, you know, uh, yesterday I go belanja him yam cha. He don't want. Then it doesn't mean bojo. Walao eh. Let me repeat again. They, you know, ah, uh, yesterday I go belanja him yam cha. He don't want. Then later say me bojo. Walao eh. Six languages in a simple conversation. We Malaysians also have the most bosses around the world. No matter where we go, we see a waiter. Boss, order. And the waiter will say, yes, boss, what you want? Coffee, tea, or me? And as Malaysians, we really like to ask useless questions. My friend, who saw me eating, we ask, hey, you eating? Ah? No, the food just decided to go for a swim. Moving on, as you all know, Malaysians really love the effort. Food. Nasi lemak, roti canai, pakute. The love of Malaysians towards our food is beyond expressing. To the extent that we start to manipulate our mind to think that all these are healthy food. Nasi lemak. We have two slices of cucumber inside nasi lemak. And then roti chanai. We have roti, we have curry, we have dal. The dal is made out of greens and vegetables. And finally, bakute. Bakute. Day is tea. Tea is the leaves of plants. Plants are vegetables. So actually, I'm also eating vegetables. See, how healthy is Malaysian food? Of course, beside food, we also need our national drink, Milo. There are various ways to serve Milo. Milo Kosong, Milo Dinosaur, and Milo Maggie. There is only one Milo that is the best. The Milo from the Milo truck back in our primary school. That cup of freezing cold Milo. Oof. Imagine standing there with this cup of Milo. Sniffing in 
the strong Milo smell. While discussing your friend, how can we sneak back into the queue again? This called Milo is just out of the world. No matter how hard we try, we just can't make the same taste. Finally, we as Malaysians are racist. We have many stereotypes on other races. Now, this is not exclusive to any race. We have the stereotypes that Malay are not that smart. Indians are dangerous. Chinese are evil. Well, what about the other races? We don't even remember them. Just go read the comments below the Facebook post of Malaysia's politician. And you will see Barbie dolls being thrown around. Everyone's mom suddenly becoming green. And at that moment, the wonderful diversity of Malaysia's language will be shown. Doesn't matter, Cantonese, Hokkien, Tamil, Malay, all kind of bad words will be thrown around. But as Malaysians, we can also be extremely patriotic and united. We can all stay at Mamak all night to watch the World Cup and cheer for our team. We can all stay at the same to support Dato Li Chong Wei in the Olympics. And we can also stay at the same mama to complain about Irene. Because we are Malaysians, right? Complaining is in our DNA. Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia is a country of diversity and differences. We are all different, aren't we? We look different, our hand colors are different, and our mother tongues are different. In this one and a half year, we have lesser time to bond with one another. And the divisiveness in the nation is getting bigger, bigger, and bigger. But diversity and differences are now a divisiveness. We are all Malaysians. We live on the same land. We speak the same Rojak language. And despite complaining a lot about Malaysia, we still love it. So together, let us stop the divisiveness. And if anyone ever asks you, really, uh, you really like being Malaysian? Stand firmly and confidently say, really, lah. Thank you. Dynamic speech. Wow. Oh. And Tom Swift, you just brought brought up my school memories when you say the Milo truck. Yo, like I miss them a lot. Yeah, that Milo is really the best one. Yes, yes. I don't know how they do. So even we, I mean, we ourselves also if we do milo also we cannot get that taste yeah. like so real the best part is filling the milo with your own water that's <laughs> the best part but you know uh -huh. last time our teachers don't give us do that only teachers yeah. have the only teachers can fill out the whole water bottle we can only use paper cup and then we have to go another time also we be like, even if the teacher that we know the teacher, the teacher and we are friends, then the teacher will be like, okay, okay, you take one more time and go lah. <laughs> but other teachers mean we cannot do that. Thank you, Gavalier Thompson for the dynamic speech. Give a thunderous applause to appreciate and thank the speaker. Moving on to the second and last speaker. Jai Shri, the bright side of music. She is 17 and she is from SMK Pandamaranjaya. Her hobby is singing and dancing. 
let's put our hands together for Jayashri. The bright side of music, the bright side of music, Jayashri. Okay, so first, before we start, I want to ask you a question. Can you all see the screen? What do you see? Music. Music. The word music. Okay. Okay. So now, like, it's good to start. Okay. Oh, one minute, one minute. I'm, I'm sorry for the interruption. Okay, so. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing today? Good? Okay, yeah, good. So, today we are going to talk about music and especially the bright side of music. First, what do you think about music? What is music? In my opinion, music is the best companion for me. My soul, my life, and my everything. The dynamic change in music nowadays makes me to love music even more. And when the technology improves, the way the music directors or the current artists, they show the variations in their music videos or while composing their music. That just makes me to go, wow. And it didn't make me to not stop loving music. And that is why I believe music is dynamic because there's no any particular design for music. Without a need for the ado, let's get into the first point. The bright side of music is music reduces stress. Listening to relaxing music, generally considered to have a slow tempo, low pitch, and no lyrics. To be honest, it's like more to instrumental. I used to listen to flute, and that makes me to go like, no matter how many problems that running into my head, when I listen to flute music, I would just go. Peace. And one more thing I would want to share. The link that you're seeing now here is a research that was held by Stanford, Stanford and it has been released. If you have time, I will share this PowerPoint presentation. You can tap the link and you can see what it is written in the research paper. The second is music improves memory. I totally agree. That. Not only for me, many research has shown that the repetitive elements of the rhythm and the melody help our brains to form a pattern that enhance our memory. In a study of stroke survivors, listening to music helped them to experience more verbal memory, less confusions, and better focused attention. So this is also a research paper 
or an article which was held by the health, the Harvard, yes, a research by Harvard Health Publishing. And next, music improves exercise. <sighs> to be honest, I'm not a person who exercise and I'm not a fitness freak. And whenever people say, you have to exercise, exercise, I would say like, oh my God, no. But during this MCO CNC, I felt like I need to do something for me. And then exercise was the first point because my parents, my family members, my friends, all of them was exercising. And I have so planned to go for a job with my mom. And during that, I took out my earphones. I listened to music, to a fast beat, to a fast track. And I just jogging. And in my mind, I felt always I'm jogging in a very cool and calm place. And I'm seeing many beautiful ladies, handsome boys near me. And I'm jogging with them. You see, the music has the power to imagine myself to go somewhere else. And still, I am exercising and doing something. And that's why music improve, improves exercise. And even if I do yoga or if I do any cardio exercises, music is the first one I would search for to get the positive vibration from me. And next up, this is the best part. Music helps to overcome loneliness. Loneliness is something very tough to overcome. And even though I had my parents around, I still feel alone. And music was there to help me like a lifesaver. And the last part is music helps me to sleep better like a baby. When I was a baby, my parents or my grandparents used to sing a lullaby in order to make me sleep. And my aunt will make me to sleep in order by singing a cinema song. And still, I still keep remembering that. And this is one of the examples of a sleeping music where I would still hear if I don't feel sleep. And finally, this is a quote that I really get inspired of. Without music, life would be a blank to me. Yes. If our life is an empty paper, music is like the colors that we can fill it in. If you want colorful, you can listen to a dance number or any melodious thing. If you want your life in black and white, of course you have the melancholy or the sad songs for you awaiting for. Now, thank you. Any questions from me or any questions that you wanted to ask for me? Any question? Can I? Oh, there are so many people here. Okay, yes, let's start with Makadi. Yeah. May I know your favorite music director and singers? Okay, well, my favorite music director, I would say uh, Yuvan Shankar Raja. He's very famous in Tamil film industry. The reason that I love his music is during my lonely, lonely time, his music was like a medicine to me. And his every song, his every background scores make me to feel, fall in love in him, like for his music. So my favorite singers is uh, Shreya Ghoshal because her voice is the voice that I hear since my childhood, starting from one Tamil song and now I'm hearing her voices in Telugu, Hindi, Malayalam, all kind of languages her voice is there and her voice is something magical. Any questions? Okay, uh, yes, Thompson? Do you sing well? If yes, how? Oh. As I said, like my hobby is singing, but I should not say like myself, I'm a professional singer. 
because I just uh, studied vocal for seven years and after that, for some unavoidable reason, I had to stop the class. But through my dance class, I was able to catch up my music because if you, in order to dance, you need a music, a source of music. In order that, I was able to reconnect myself with music again. Thank you, Thompson. Next, Jay Lashmi. When do you realize that music and you are connected to each other? Um, since my childhood, and not a childhood, since I'm a baby, because as I said before, my grandma and my aunt, they used to sing a lullaby or any Tamil film songs for me in order to sleep. And I still remember the song that my aunt used to uh, sing for me as a lullaby. And not only that, wherever I go, when I hear the music, I can't believe myself, my body will start shaking. Like my hands will do one design and my leg will just keep tapping on. And that's where I realized music is something which is connected with me. And it, it is an unbreakable bond. Thank you. Next, anyone? Okay, so if no, that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for listening from me. Thank you, Kavali and Jayashree, for the wonderful speech. Give a thunder of applause to appreciate and thank the speaker. Teacher, is there the voting session? Has everyone voted? Voting ended. We have successfully completed our second part of the meeting today. The third and final part of our meeting is the evaluation sessions. To evaluate our speeches, I would like to invite our general evaluator and trainer, Ms. Wasanti, to the stage. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Good afternoon, Gavaliers. How are you? Your speeches are wonderful. Thank you for delivering such a dynamic speeches. I am impressed. To give evaluation, I would like to invite the first speaker's evaluator. Is this Sakti? Shakti? Yes. Competent Gavalier communicator, Shakti. Thank you, trainer, Mr. Sandy. So first of all, I would like to congratulate Thompson for uh, completing his speech. I don't know, I, I can't evaluate him because his speech was really outstanding. The only thing that I, want, I wanted to tell him is, in future, try to break your house and make it a bit bigger. Because I saw you were struggling with the space. So if you have a bigger space, try to use it. That's all. Apart from that, I've seen all the public speaking elements in your speech. That's all. Thank you. Has he met all the objectives? Yes. Thank you. This is the greatest victory for a dynamic speaker. Isn't it? Wonderful, wonderful. Your speech quality has really set a power. Very well done. Keep producing such a quality speeches. The reason not only you grow, 
when other gavaliers watch your speech definitely it influence and motivate them to come up with a good quality this is a, you are setting a standard for them wonderful wonderful i'm really very happy with your speech and it won't just come just like that it needs preparation writing the speech it takes time and it is effort effort is the thing comes with the best quality and one more thing is when you do the public speaking a project this is to evaluate yourself it is just a small thing to give your self evaluation even if you cannot do a speech what else you can do or what else you can achieve bigger in your life so when you decided to deliver the speech and if you are able to deliver the speech the process from the thought and completing the speech that is a journey a very small journey if you are able to do that successfully you can handle any other things in your life other things could be a little longer journey that's all you're going to apply the same effort uh, the talent knowledge the subject matter that is the only thing the subject matter is the only thing it is different the effort everything you are learning from here and then you are going to apply it later in every part of your life so well done thamsen i would like to invite competent gavalier communicator magadi to evaluate competent communicator gavalier jayashri speech the stage is yours jayashri your speech was awesome you handled your confidence while people were asking you the question was quite good your message there was how can the about the music like what is the good thing that music can do it did help you added more words of yourself like you explained it but you could have had more voice modulation because your speech is a press conference so in a press conference you can't talk very slowly you must talk a bit loud and like you can have like modulation like you talk slowly then you like higher then you talk slow like that you had control of the speech did you write the whole speech yes i did because i see the difference between if someone didn't write their speech and someone who wrote you wrote the speech nicely i didn't find anything wrong and in, in total i think you had a positiveness in your speech and it was cool thank you Wow, Madhavi, you made heart attack by asking the question. Like, did you write the speech? <laughs> okay, that's a fantastic evaluation, uh, Madhavi. You did it well. Um, thank you, Jayashri, for the wonderful speech. It is really like we are able to walk through your speech. It is just like a, even though you didn't dance here, you didn't sing here, but it is like dancing together with your speech. Very nice. It's entertaining and it's really good. Now let's invite our competent gavalier communicator Thompson to give the grammarian report. Thank you, our general evaluator. So for the usage of the word of the day, the people who use the word today is chevia teacher and jay 
three. Did I miss anyone? Going on to the improper grammatical uses and suggestions for starting from the starting from the table topic session. Starting from the impromptu table topic session. Vanessa, I didn't spot any. And for marketing, marketing didn't speak just now, right? So there's also no evaluation of grammatical area. And for Tamilaki, I noticed she said, we are all at home. And we all are at home. It should be, we are all at home. And she also mentioned, my father like, my father was like something, something. And for Puganiti, if we didn't exercise, we will. It should be, if we don't exercise, we will. And in the end, you mentioned by this, it should be because of this, we should blah, 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 blah. And J3, I noticed you said, make, make, make me to sleep. It should be makes me asleep. And you also mentioned catch up my music. You should be catch up with my music. And the nice quote that I noticed is from J3, without music, life will be a blank to me. That's all for my grammar. Grammar report. Thank you. Thank you, competent Gavile communicator Chua Thompson, for your brief report of grammar. I used the word two, three times. You missed me out. I'm so sad. Yeah, teacher, I, I, you, you mentioned it twice, I think. Yeah. All right. Let's invite Gavile Pukhanlidi to give us the account report. So for the table topic section, Vanessa spoke one um, one so. Tamil Alagi, two so, one but. Me, three so, one but. And prepared speeches, Thompson spoke two so and three but. JSA spoke three so and one but. That's all for my um, report. Back to you, Dosma. And just now you used one so and one and. Okay. You did it quite well. Very good. Our counter and being a timer is really taking these two roles are helpful to sharpen our listening skill, concentration and focus. Take these roles frequently in order to improve your concentration. Try to do your best then you will automatically pay attention to the speeches, how to do that. It is really, really very useful. Now let's invite our timer to give the report. Gavalier Magadi. I'll start from the table topic session. Vanessa, you spoke for 50 seconds. Tamil energy, you spoke for one minute and 38 seconds within the time. Puganiti, you spoke for one minute and 20 seconds, also within the time. Table topic evaluator, Javier, you spoke for one minute and 21 seconds, but it is not within the time because according to evaluators, it should be two minutes and above two to three minutes. Project speeches, Thompson, you spoke for 7 minutes and 21 seconds within the time. There was 9 seconds left. J3, the presentation you had, you did for 5 minutes and 31 seconds. And your QA session was 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Shakti, the evaluate, first evaluator, spoke for 46 seconds. I spoke for two minutes and one second. Grammarian Thompson, you spoke for one minute, 29 seconds. And our counter, you just spoke for 23 seconds. Thank you. All right. I'll create the poll. Uh, that's all for today's general evaluation. Meanwhile, I pass the control to our choice master of the day, Gavalier Jayashree. Teacher, Gavarier Jayashri? Oh, no, Jayavarshini. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, ma. Thank you, 
to the role players for giving the wonderful evaluations. Now, I am going to announce the best speakers of the day. The best table topic speaker of today's meeting is Tamir Alagi. Okay, shall we spotlight? Uh, meanwhile, before we move into the result, can I give the poll for evaluator? Let's yes. get Two more haven't voted. One more. Okay, time's up. Yes, Jayavashini, you can proceed. Next, the best prepared speech speaker of today's meeting is Chua Thompson. And finally, the best evaluator is Shakti. Okay, I would like to spotlight Shakti. And the Tamaragi, where is Tamaragi? Yeah, here you are. And Thompson. Okay, so congratulations, all of you, winners. So I take a photo of three of you. Thank you. Back to your choice master of the day. Thank you. So I would like to call the president to give the closing speech. It uh, led me to remove all the spotlights. Thank you, Toastmaster Gavil J. Vashini. I felt that today's meeting was really energized. And if we have met face-to-face, -face, I think confirm we, have, we have, would have been exercised in the class, but because of the COVID, we can't meet. So I hope onwards, everyone will exercise. And please make sure that we exercise at least three days per week. Thank you. See you next week, bye.